Rogel Aguilera Moderos, Colorado truck driver, was sentenced to 110 years. You heard that right, ladies and gentlemen. 110 years after his brakes malfunctioned, he ended up crashing into four different vehicles. Um, actually, more than four vehicles, but four people passed away. Six others were injured in the crash. But so Colorado, um, they're prosecuting, prosecuting them because the prosecutor said that uh, Rogel Aguilero Moderos made a bunch of bad decisions. This is this is what how this is what the prosecution said, and this is what the jury went with to give him 110 years. They they were saying that he made a bunch of bad decisions before the accident, that he missed a runaway truck stop, okay, yeah. that he could have made. And he was going around 85 miles an hour. Now, they probably know that because, like you said, in logistics, they have yeah. all those, you know, tracking devices and such. So I'm, I'm sure that they knew exactly oh. how fast he was going. Um, so and, the, and then the driver. So we'll just say what the driver said. Rogel said that he didn't know that his brakes were out. OK, he said the brakes were smoking, and, but he didn't see him smoking. Other people said that they saw the brakes smoking, but he said he didn't see him smoking. He didn't know his brakes were out. He missed the runaway truck stop because he thought he had brakes. And then he ended up going on to um, the, the curl, the curl or the, uh, what is that called? Onto the shoulder trying to avoid crashes. But there was a, a traffic jam because of more accidents that happened. So people were piled up. Wow. And he drove onto the shoulder, but he ended up hitting some people. And then, you know, the rest is history. Um, I don't think that the man should get 110 years. First, personally, I honestly, now this is kind of insane to me because I actually have a friend and, or acquaintance that I used to, um, I'm not going to tell you how I know him because I'm just not going to put his information out there like that. But I have a friend that's, that has 15 years right now for, um, vehicular homicide Ve vehicular manslaughter actually they didn't even give him homicide he ended up driving his vehicle on the wrong way of the highway he missed two vehicles which he got five years for each vehicle that he missed five years and five years for two vehicles that he missed and then he got five years for the third vehicle that he crashed into the third guy ended up passing away that he crashed he got five years for that so he got 15 years vehicular manslaughter he was driving the wrong way on the highway. That is, that's not premeditated, which is why I think he got manslaughter, but that's definitely, um, he definitely did some things wrong there. Like he was definitely no, he was driving on the wrong side of the road. Yeah. So that makes, I mean, it makes sense. I mean, you're being reckless. You're being reckless. This guy did not know his brakes were out. The truck that he was driving was not his truck. It was a Houston truck company's truck. Oh, wow. So he probably showed up to the job, got a truck that wasn't his, that they obviously didn't ins inspect correctly, started driving, the brakes go out, and there's a bunch of cars in front of you. He was driving a lumber truck, so it's wow. packed full of lumber in the back. I mean, what in the world? If anybody should be getting talked about on this, that Houston Trucking Company should be taking all the heat for this. And I think Rogel Modero, I think he should not even be able to get charged for this, honestly. And I know that some people passed away um, from it, which is very terrible. And, and hats off, or I mean, prayers to the, the families that were affected. But this, I mean, this is a complete accident. I mean, it's not like it was premeditated. He didn't drive into him on purpose. Yeah. There was traffic jam. It's not like he was driving through, you know, places where he could have, you know, I don't know. This seems crazy to me. What do you think, bro? What do you think? I mean, I'm, I'm right there with you. I mean, as you said, not his truck, trucking company, probably not taking, then you should have probably inspected it yourself to look at your brakes. Now yeah. I'm, I'm going to say that's a, that's a mistake. Obviously, um, you know, he's given a minimum sentence of 110 years. Um, for four counts of vehicular homicide, as you said, he's got 23 other counts or charges that I believe right. like um, side he got charged for charges the accident as well. And these 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 sentences cannot be 
you know, you can't serve them at once. They have to be concurrent. So that's why it goes up to 110 years. That is. But it's just crazy. So Colorado rule, you know, the, I guess the judge said his hands were tied, and that's why he had to give him 110 years. Like, you know, we can't be a human and, and you know, discern an accident from other things. But, right. Um, you know, as you said, it's terrible that people died in this accident. And I can, And I'm not completely with you. I don't think that the trucking company should be the only one that goes down for this or that's, you know, kind of in the heat for this because he was driving the truck. He should have checked the brakes. Um, you know, I that mean, yeah, that's possibly, realistically yeah. in the in, in the military. We always had what PMCS preventive yes. maintenance before before, during yep. and after you drive a vehicle where you have to make sure these things work. And as a truck driver with a CDL, you have, you know, 80,000, 100, you know, whatever you have on the back of your truck. That can be very dangerous if we get in a crash, as you see here. So course, I don't think that course. they should let them off completely. But I do think that 110 years is, you know, completely, completely excessive. You know, I, I would say maybe like one to five years and, you know, maybe even, you know, something like that. Considering right. brakes were faulty, you know, it wasn't his truck. I mean, he's going 85 miles an hour, so maybe he's speeding, but it's also downhill. He could have been going. It had to have been going downhill if there was a didn't truck. Have brakes though. Well, my well, but still, you don't. So I mean, you don't necessarily speed up if you're, you know, you gotta you don't be have going 85. You if you're going downhill with one of those trucks, if you're driving at 55, but that's the thing is, if you if you pass truck stops, yeah, I'd have to think you were going downhill. So that if you could were have passing been why, those runaway truck lanes, right? yeah, exactly. I mean, you were that, probably in a mountainous area. Or well, something, that's what I'm right? saying. That could have been course, why he right. was going 85. He could have been driving, you know, 50 or 55, right. or whatever the speed limit is. And then because he didn't have brakes and because he was going down a ratherly large hill with a heavy that would load. need, you know, that would need a runaway truck stop. Right. With a big load. He could have got to 85. So, you know, to me, it sounds like right. a bunch of unfortunate events that lined up. I don't think that he should serve 110. As I said, I, mean, you know, I think that maybe one to five years is what he should, you know, get. Four people died like, in in it. You know, that's terrible. Like, I feel sorry years. for their family, but do you? I don't know. Do you think that someone else's family? Let's say that, you know, they had another son or something that did this. Do you, do they think that is you know their if their son did that would he right deserve 110? I'm not right. sure that those and, four people that passed their family would think that and, because of these circumstances. And for maybe sure. they and, do though. And think about this, Chris. I don't want to speak for him, but maybe that you know. Think about this, Chris. We have a brother right now that has a CDL. Right. Yeah. That's if true. this, if he went and worked for a company and was be going through every legal action that I could to make sure that justice was served for my brother because i yeah. would not feel like that is grounds for honestly i just don't feel like that's an i don't know that's a complete accident yeah people get in accidents all the time that where people pass and nobody even gets charged because it's an accident right you and know yeah, what, I'm saying? Like, what i'm saying is... it, it's it's crazy that this accident in 110 years I feel like there's been serial killers that have less than 110 years. Yeah, I, was, I mean, that's exactly where I was going like, with this is, you know, what? since then, there's been an online petition signed by over I 4 that. million I people. I signed it, by the way. I signed that petition. I probably am going to as well. Yeah. By over 4 million people that, you know, want the sentence to be reduced. And there's also um, truckers across Colorado that are saying that they're not going to drive through the state of Colorado, which would be absolutely I mean, detrimental that would to, kill the, it, you yeah, know, that to would their be, economy. If their truck drivers stop moving in nuts. Colorado, I mean, that's a, that's a big deal. So truck drivers are mad because they, they look at this as, Hey, we are delivering the goods. We're the bloodline, the source to right. America essentially. And, you know, maybe a lot of people don't look at them like that, I but mean, that's the truth. I mean, they're, they're definitely, delivering the goods. They're delivering yeah. the food. They're all your Amazon packages, all medicine. your, all your medicines, all your foods, all your, put all your oils, your gasoline for right. your vehicle. I mean, literally everything right. comes off of a boat or off of a plane and then has to be trucked to right. most places. Straight even to if truck. they, even if they put it on a train, they usually have to take it off the train and put it on a truck. Right. It's it's hitting a truck. It's hitting a it's truck, hitting the truck probably most of the time. So four million people signed it. Man. You know, as you said, I feel like there's been murderers and there's been rapists that have been given less time for way, their crimes. Like way less time. Than this twenty six year old right. working. I think he's twenty four or 26. twenty uh, he's twenty six, I think maybe 26. now, maybe twenty four when it happened or something, but 
You know, he, all he was doing was delivering goods, wow. working, and, and, and a terrible accident happens, and now he's going to lose his life too. So, you know, I think they really need to reconsider this and take not just 20 years off or something. You know, no, they, they, let's, yeah, let, I mean, let's not be ridiculous about this. We need to take 110 years off. Yeah. Right? We need like, to, like, make sure that this guy doesn't lose his life for this accident. Yeah, I, I mean, I complete. I this is such a cra- I, this is such a cra- I can't even believe that judge could get I don't know. I just I'm baffled at this and 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 like you said, if if he doesn't get like say 1 to 3 years with maybe probation at the end and no I don't know, like it this I don't even think he should be I I like I said, I don't think he should be able to be charged because he was doing his job. Yes, an accident happened, but it was because of a manu- uh, a, a vehicle, you know, the brakes, ma- a vehicle malfunction. He wasn't driving. He tried to evade people. He drove onto the shoulder. There's not much you can do in a congested road with that type of vehicle. I mean, I, wh- wh- I don't know. That's kind of crazy. It's crazy. Like, can a, tr- can a train conductor get killed if his train wrecks and 27 people die, but he ends up living? You know what I'm saying? I sure. hope not, but that's kind of what this seems like. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll see what happens there. 